Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I work at Ontario Power Generation's Sir Adam Beck Generating Stations in Niagara-on-the-Lake. And I am thrilled to present to you today the Power of Water activity because that's what we do at the Sir Adam Beck Generating Stations. We use the power of water to make electricity and I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that. At Ontario Power Generation, we have 66 hydroelectric generating stations across the province. So some of them are as large as the Surratt and Beck generating stations. And in St. Catharines, you'll see a couple smaller stations called the DeCue generating stations. Now, if you go to a school in St. Catharines, you may have seen large pipes running down the escarpment near Brock University. And those pipes feed water into our stations. The one station there in particular is almost 125 years old and still produces power for our community. So that's very exciting for us. Now, the term hydroelectricity comes from the word hydro, which means water. And it's very important to our operation because without an abundance of water, we can't make the electricity in your community. So that's the beauty of it. So for the Sir Adam Beck generating stations, we take the water in three tunnels and an open cut canal above Niagara Falls. And the tunnels and the canal run through the city of Niagara Falls and to our generating station about 10 kilometers away. So at the top of the generating station is what's called a four bay and the water collects up there. The, the water then runs through the penstocks and hits the turbine and exits to join the Niagara River. River. So we're gonna watch a brief two minute video that talks about how it works and you're gonna see the Sir Adam Beck generating stations featured in this video. One hundred and seventy thousand cubic meters of water flow past here every minute at almost 60 kilometers per hour. That's enough water to fill about 100,000 Olympic swimming pools every day. Standing here, you can actually feel the power of the water. Harnessing that power is what hydroelectric stations have been designed to do for over 100 years in Ontario. In essence, they are factories that convert the energy of falling water into the flow of electrons, or what is commonly called electricity, the electricity that powers the province. Most hydroelectric stations use either water diverted around the natural drop of a river, such as a waterfall or rapids, or a dam is built across a river to raise the water level and provide the drop needed to create a driving force. Water at the higher level is collected in the forebay. It flows through the plant intake into a pipe called a penstock, which carries it down to a turbine water wheel at the lower water level. The water pressure increases as it flows down the penstock. It is this pressure and flow that drives the turbine that is connected to the generator. Inside the generator is the rotor that is spun by the turbine. Large electromagnets are attached to the rotor located within coils of copper wire called a stator. As the generator rotor spins the magnets, a flow of electrons is created in the coils of the stator. This produces electricity that can be stepped up in voltage through the station transformers and sent across transmission lines. The falling water, having served its purpose, exits the generating station to the tail race, where it rejoins the main stream of the river to continue the cycle of creating clean, renewable energy for Ontario. So as, was, as Jim was saying in this video, we need the power of the water to turn the turbine. And it's not really a complicated way of creating electricity, but it does mean that we need uh, the force of water and a lot of it to turn a gigantic turbine. So this is a very small model of what we would have in a station, except our turbine would be like this and it would hit through what's called a scroll case and the water would revolve around and spin the turbine. So I'm gonna show you just how we need the force of the water to spin a wheel. So for sake of ease and not a mess in here, I'm gonna show you that in order to spin the wheel, just a light spin is not gonna turn this little light on. 
And then that's my goal. But a harder spin and all of the components working, so all these wheels working together, will turn this light on. So a lot of what we do at the generating stations is maintaining and refurbishing assets. And assets mean the equipment in the station. So for instance, the Stratenbeck generating stations are almost 100 years old. The, the first station that was built in 1921, or that that station runs because it provides so much power to our community. So when the electricity is produced there, it's sent up to the hydro lines that you would see in your neighborhood, uh, off the highway, and it brings the electricity to your homes to power things like your stove, your fridge, your video game system, and even to charge your iPads. Actually, we even see electric vehicles now, and maybe some of you have one. A lot of what we talk about at Ontario Power Generation is water safety. So while we make electricity and use water, it's very important for us to share a water safety message with everyone. We have signs and barriers, big booms, which are, well, they look like big barrels connected with chains in a water, or there's buoys in a water, flotation, kind of, they look like big bubbles in the water that show you where you can and cannot go. So very important, especially if you're doing any traveling up north this summer, or you're in an area like St. Catharines where there might be booms protecting you from fast flowing water, that you stay clear and stay safe because these areas are not meant for swimming or for recreation. So if you see someone doing that, make sure that you're paying attention to the signs and you walk away as needed. So thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning about the power of water.